Hi, I just want to talk to you really quickly about the next project that we've got planned in the Crafting Together with All Brands group. Um, there's a backstory to this project, which is why I want to just kind of talk to you a little bit about it. Uh, it's a very simple folio, but it's the purpose of the folio that is actually um, the star of the project. So just very quickly, it's seven and a half by ten inches um, and it is designed as a Christmas recipe book. So when we have a look inside, you'll see that there's loads of spaces for recipes. But what's really, really cool about this is that um, it's going to be a group project. So what we're thinking is everybody's going to get involved. Then Mark has put together a sort of a template that we can all fill in that has got information for recipes, ingredients, method, instructions, all of that sort of thing. But there's also space to explain a little bit about why you've chosen that recipe. So say, for instance, one of the things that I'm going to um, offer a recipe for is my mother's Christmas truffles. Now, I can't say that I like them particularly, but for me, when I taste them, they just remind me of childhood Christmases. Um, and as soon as I'm, you know, I've got one in my mouth, that's exactly what I think. And uh, we lost my mum, unfortunately, 17 years ago, um, this coming Christmas. And Christmas was all about my mum. Um, she was just Mrs Christmas, really. So to be able to share that recipe means a lot to me. And what I'm hoping is that people will find similar recipes or just favourite recipes and share it with the whole group. We will um, put a OneDrive together so that people can upload um, their completed templates or Mark will fill in the template for you if you're a little bit technologically challenged shall we say um and uh then you can just print out whichever ones take your fancy so that we're going to end up with a uh, recipe folio for christmas full of recipes from all around the world with stories as to why these are really cool recipes and that that really excites me now the book, um, the papers that I've used is, um, well, we call it Craftsmith in the UK. I think you call it Recollections over in the US and it's called Holiday Ballet. But basically use any Christmassy papers that you like. And if you don't want to make a Christmas version of this, this folio will actually lend itself to any um, any theme or papers. And it will hold, I reckon, at least 100 um six by four inch photo mats which makes i don't know 200 plus photos but it's very simple but like i said the reason for it is actually why it's cool so on the front all i've just done is i've just put some of these really nice cut aparts and then you open it up and what you've got here now these are just black at the moment my photo mats they're just six by four inches and they're ready for me to um print out and glue on these recipes uh, and it's full of stack pockets and what we've got here uh, and it is symmetrical are two lift up pockets so if I just lift those up now what you've got here um, is uh, two more um, actually I'll put it that way around we've got two more um, stack pockets that open up to give us stack pockets on both of these sides and then we've got other ones with stack pockets here there and there so there is room for so many photo mats now here what I've done is I've put together just a little sort of a, a folder that you can put things like cuttings in because I don't know about you but my recipe books are full of cuttings and things so that's just a little space on both of them where you can add in your own recipe cuttings um, as well. So it's quite a uh, versatile book. Like I said, it doesn't have to be for recipes, but that's just what we're going to be, um, you know, doing in class. So this will start this coming Friday, which is the 17th of September. Classes will be available in the group for you to go back and watch when you want to and when you are able. But I hope you will join us 7.30pm British summer time uh, and we will get going. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye.